I've gone to too many fast food places where the fries are stale, the burgers look busted, or the workers simply got my order wrong. That's why today, I'm going to different McDonald's locations all around Los Angeles to test how consistent this iconic brand is from store to store. And this is the McDonald's Consistency Challenge. First, the rules. I'm hitting up each McDonald's with the same complicated order. Then, I'm going to rate the McDonald's location based on accuracy, presentation, taste, and we'll see if any location skips out on fries. At the end, we'll give McDonald's a very scientifically proven score on consistency. Spoiler alert, you may be surprised at how different the prices are from location to location. Alright, so here's my complicated order. One cheeseburger, no ketchup, extra onions, and no pickles. One small fry with ketchup packets. One regular Oreo McFlurry. The first location is the McDonald's by the famous Santa Monica Pier. So here's my order. They got the ketchup, and I feel like that's an easy one to miss. It sucks when you get home and have no ketchup there either. Alright, so let's open up this burger and see what's inside. No pickles and no ketchup? Alright, looks good to me. Let's check underneath, and yep, yeah, extra onions. Now I'm going to be counting the fries the old-fashioned way. After a little speed bump, I counted 55 fries. So that's our baseline number. Next is the all-important taste test. These guys are so good, not stale and pretty fresh and crispy. Now for the burger taste test. Okay guys, I'm obviously not an expert, but that's one good burger. Also, I ordered the McFlurry to see if their ice cream machine is working, and what do you know, it is. And of course, the McFlurry is pretty darn good. Alright, so here's the final rating for the Santa Monica location. Accuracy, 10 out of 10. Presentation, 10 out of 10. Taste, 10 out of 10. Fry count, 55. Price, 960. Next up is the McDonald's of the Stars, aka the Hollywood McDonald's. This location is at the Hollywood Highland intersection, which is one of the busiest tourist locations of the city and probably even the state. You've got a mix of tourists, locals, and anyone else you can think of. This is actually the first McDonald's I went to when I first visited LA. So apparently at some McDonald's locations, they don't give you trays, so that's why I just have the bag here. Already something different, but I don't think that deserves any point deduction. As I'm taking things out of the bag, I did notice there's no ketchup packet, which I've specifically been asking for in every order. As we open up the burger, it looks pretty good, although I'm wondering why all of the McDonald's burgers seem to have some sort of den on top all the time. I just want a pretty patty, y'all, but I guess I'm not complaining. As I open it up, you can see no ketchup, and going underneath, we have a flurry of onions, so thank you very much. Speed counting time for the french fries, and the total amount of fries is 41. That's a lot lower than the previous restaurant. Taste test time, and the burger is flawless. I honestly hate pickles, so I get pretty happy when the restaurant gets that part right. The fries are basically just as good as the last place. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba, I'm loving it. As you can see, the ice cream machine is working, and unfortunately, it's not the best mixed McFlurry. I've been noticing some locations mix the Oreo in very well, while others just put the Oreo kind of as a topping. For the final ratings, accuracy, 9.5 out of 10. No ketchup packet. Presentation, 8 out of 10. Busted burger, and the McFlurry wasn't mixed well. Taste, 10 out of 10. Fry count, 41. Price, 960. Up next is the location right next to the Los Angeles International Airport, so my hopes are high. First of all, there's no ketchup packet again, although in the store's defense, I saw a sign that said you need to request condiments specifically. Although, I did on the app. Presentation looks great, let's open up this burger and see if they got my order right. No ketchup on the top and extra onions, there we go. Passing marks for me. Now let's count these fries, and wow, there's 41 fries, which is exactly the same number as the last place. Honestly, that's pretty impressive. I try to show a close-up of the fries like they do in the influencer videos, but I don't think it worked out very well. Anywho, the fries tasted great, and the burger was also pretty great. Zero complaints, which is exactly what I hope for every time I visit McDonald's. As you can see, their ice cream machine is working just fine, and the McFlurry is beautifully mixed. For the final ratings, accuracy, 9.5 out of 10, no ketchup packet. Presentation, 10 out of 10. Taste, 10 out of 10. Fry count, 41. Price, 8.88. Next up is a McDonald's location in LA's south side. This area is one of the city's lower income areas, so I can see this restaurant going both ways in terms of consistency. So here's my order, and everything looks good so far except for the extra ketchup packet I requested. Let's take a look inside the burger, and we got no ketchup and extra onions. Let's count the fries. 51. Alright, we've got some variety in the number of fries. Taste test time. And everything tastes great. Honestly, this is a little tough grade at McDonald's since all of their stuff is so consistently good, although I'm sure others would beg to differ. For the final ratings, accuracy, 9.5 out of 10, no ketchup packet. Presentation, 10 out of 10. Taste, 10 out of 10. Fry count, 51. Price, almost 10 bucks at 9.93. This is the most expensive location so far. Up next is a McDonald's just a mile away from Beverly Hills. I had really high hopes for this location, but as you're about to see, this may be the worst. Alright, so here's my order. The receipt already has the incorrect order, so I don't know what went wrong. I ordered the same meal at each location through the app. I wasn't able to order a McFlurry, so I was a little sad. I guess their machine is down. 
similar to other locations, no tray and no ketchup. Let's open up this burger and we got ketchup and pickles. Maybe there's extra onions on the bottom? All right, no onions. 48 fries, pretty decent number. I asked for a ketchup after getting my order, by the way, for the fries. Taste test time. And the burger is a no-go for me. Mainly because it tastes like pickles, even though I took them out. Now the fries are stale, unfortunately. This order is a little surprising because there were maybe five other customers inside this location when I ordered, so they shouldn't be that swamped. For the final ratings, accuracy, five out of 10. They got the fries right. Presentation, 10 out of 10. It looked like a regular burger and fries order. Taste, five out of 10. Soggy fries and wrong burger. Fry count, 51. Price, 480, but that's without a McFlurry. The next location is the McDonald's that I found with the highest rating in Los Angeles. This restaurant is near a bunch of tourist locations like museums, and it's not far from Beverly Hills either. They've got outside seating, which is nice, so hopes are high. Here's my order, and they got the ketchup and McFlurry this time. Opening up the burger, and great. No pickles and no ketchup. Now underneath, and extra onions. That's what I'm talking about. I counted a total of 57 fries, which is a pretty good amount compared to the others. The burger tasted just as good as the other ones, and so did the fries. The McFlurry was perfectly mixed and also tasted just like the other places. Overall, great location. For the final ratings, accuracy, 10 out of 10. Presentation, 10 out of 10. Taste, 10 out of 10. Dry count, 57. Price, 960. Last but not least is the Brentwood McDonald's. This location is near UCLA, or the University of California, Los Angeles, so I'm sure there are a lot of students that come here. Here's my order with no ketchup packets to be seen. My button looks a little sad, unfortunately. The good thing is that there is no ketchup or pickles, and looking on the other side, there are plenty of onions. Now to count the fries, we got 58. That's a pretty healthy number of fries. Now on to the taste test. The burger is scrumptiously umptious, and the fries are as spectacular as ever. Some more good news, the McFlurry is mixed pretty well. For the final ratings, accuracy, 9.5 out of 10. Presentation, 9 out of 10 due to the sad burger. Taste, 10 out of 10. Fry count, 57. Price, 960. So after tallying all the results, McDonald's gets a consistency score of 93% out of a possible 100. The average number of fries is 50, and all the locations were pretty close to that. The fact that the prices were different threw me off a little bit, but luckily they didn't vary a ton. The cheapest meal was $8.88, and the most expensive was $9.93. Let us know what place you'd want to see next in the comments. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Thanks for watching.